Good evening, my name is Mankwa Kingsley. Thank you guys for everything. Um, please, within this tutorial, we are going to um, learn or we're going to understand how we can go about uh, with our MT5. I know most of you are Android developers. Um, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I know most of you are using Android device. <laughs> and I'm a programmer, so sometimes um, I, I tend using these um, programming and developer words. Um, sorry, sorry for that. Um, so we are going to learn after connecting your MT, um, your XNES or your broker to MT5. We are going to learn how to use uh, uh, how to use the MT5 actually. So let's without wasting much time, let's enter into the MT5. So with the MT5, you can see we have demo account and then a real account. So if you look here with the real account here, there is nothing in it. There is no amount in it, and then we have the so maybe you open you see this okay automatically you see this okay this is the chat this is the chat you're supposed to see now you see bars okay you see bars going up and down now these bars are called um candles candle okay candlestick the bars that you see are called candlestick candlestick <laughs> Um, in much in much other case you may not see anything you only see this bar here okay sorry let me close these things here you only see this chart now this chart it is the main chart okay now above here you can see you can see uh, NZD JPY that is uh, the New Zealand uh, currency with the Japanese yen okay and then you can see comma at the top here please look at the top here at the top here you can see nzd um jy uh, jpy now this is a currency pair this is the new zealand um, dollar um pair with is it new zealand dollar pair with the yen japanese yen and then you can see comma m5 m15 now m15 represents 15 minutes okay this m15 represents 15 minutes time frame okay 15 minutes don't worry i'll let you guys understand things here but take your time and then try to uh, pay uh, much attention now below here you can see if you look below you can see uh quotes the first one the arrows up and down you can see this one as chats and then we you can see this one as your trading area let me close it seems he didn't close uh this trade okay it's stable it's not it's not reading so don't worry and then here is the history okay if you tap this one is the history to know the orders that you've placed if not place any orders yet and then you go here you can see um some other things um uh, from the mt5 but no we will not be using this so let's go back to our charts so this is a chart now we are going to be using the demo account to trade okay so you hit the menu here then you go to manage account then you connect you just tap the demo okay the meta quotes demo okay so that you access your demo account now when you access the demo account you'll be given um thousand uh, ten thousand us dollars to trade okay so now in your chat here as i already said the bars that you see the bars going up and down is termed as candlestick okay candlestick now you can see there's a plus symbol here there's a plus symbol i'll say plus as time goes on i'll be saying plus but don't worry let's term it as a plus but most of the times um uh, we pe other people may say ruler it is it's, it helps you to you know try to check things on the graph okay to know where certain graphs are positioned okay yeah so if i want to clean i want to take it back i don't want to, it to be showing i just hit it again so that it goes off so i can turn it on and i can turn it off so the plus symbol here turn it off and turn off now on the f here i call it function or um the indicators indicators uh, the f indicators i'm uh, sorry f here or i say functions now with the f okay with the f that you see here it it leads you to what we call the indicators okay now indicators you cannot be reading the graph just like that you see 
this graph looks scary in fact if you look at it very well it's very what is this i don't even understand anything that's going on you see it's very scary yeah somebody will be like hey you want to kill me what is this what do you want to do with me what have i done to you know don't be worried now you, sh you shouldn't be predicting okay you shouldn't be guessing Nah, there's nothing like guessing within this region okay you need what you call indicators now indicators will help you know when to buy and when to sell okay it's all about as i told you it's all about buying and then selling of currencies so the indicators will help you to know when to buy and then when to sell again the indicators will tell you if the value of the currency pair is rising or is falling so if it is rising you buy then it buys up then you you close your trade to earn money now if it is going low it means it is selling now if you look at my chart here the one that have been shaded means for, um sell okay every bar that is shaded means sell and then every bar that is empty means upwards okay or buy so you can see from here from the chart here uh the currency sold from here to here it got to this point then start bought it bought okay it was buying it was getting value then you can see here it dropped okay it's, it's sold so that is the main idea of the shaded area and an empty candlestick now let's enter let's uh, look at the dollar symbol here you can see there's a dollar symbol with two arrows around it now this dollar symbol with two arrows um, around it help you to change your currency pairs okay so and if i don't want to trade in the nz the nz uh, d jpy here i can tap this one then choose any different um currency pair now on top is the euro usd okay oh and then you have the uh, gp gbp usd and then a lot of them now uh the gpp is pound sterling and then usd is us dollars okay now you can see usd chf now chf is a um, swiss franc okay swiss franc um, currency so now you can choose any of them so let's choose the euro usd we don't have any data for it so let's go back to our jp um, zdpy my my data is not turned on that is it and if you want to buy or sell you hit this um square here you can see there's a square symbol here you tap that one now to help you create a new window this will help you create a new window but most of the times you'll not be coming here so forget about it but there's a plus symbol here our data is not on so um, i can't access it there's a plus symbol here you can see there's a um, a new order when the type you see you can see new order now the moment you tap new order it will take you to a page where you can sell and then buy okay so now let's set up our mt5 this is how we set up our mt5 hit the f or the function your know, indicator indicators f you hit it then it will take you to indicators yeah now you can see main chart okay so in our main chart we already have two things here um you may not have this so let's let's delete these two okay um let's let's go back to it okay so forget about these two that i have the moving average here. let's let's delay these two now let's set up our mt5 okay we are setting up the indicators the indicators will help you analyze the charts for you to know when to buy and then when to what sell at the same time it will also help you to know how to know whether the trade is rising or is falling okay when it's rising it means it means you need to buy to earn profit when it's selling it means when it's falling it means you have to sell to earn profit so let's hit the f here now we have so many indicators here let's hit the f we we have so many indicators here now the indicator that we need right now is the oscillator okay uh, you go to sorry you go to the oscillators now there are a lot of indicators here 
that are very you know valuable and in, in fact some people say some people may say you need a very complex indicator to help you no 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 it's never true um you, you can just use one or two indicators and then you earn a lot of money from it so now let's go to oscillators in our indicator then let's look for what we call rsi okay that is the relative strength index this one relative strength index so let's tap on the relative you go to oscillators then you look for relative strength index so i tap on it now with the relative strength index as you can see you leave it as it is but uh with the pixels okay you can see there's pixels here the star pixels let's make it um three or four to make it bold and then the level the level should be 30 to uh, 70 okay yeah now the, the style let's uh maintain the style to be blue and then hit done okay now you can see so you go to you went to the main chart you hit the main chart okay so as i said you hit the main chart you hit the main chart here then you you add the relative index now another thing for you to do now if you look below here you can see the rsi here it was being added here this indicator was being added here it is very very important this is the engine because i i say the engine okay the engine of the trade now this will help you know when exactly to buy and sell this rsi the relative strength index okay now let's get into the let's go back to the f now let's add another indicator okay so you hit the main chart again let's hit the f the indi uh, the main indicator let's hit again now we need another indicator okay in the oscillator in, in the oscillators we need one indicator called the stochastic the stochastic oscillator so let's add the stochastic oscillator this is the stochastic oscillator so right after uh the relative vigor index we have uh stochastic so let's add the stochastic now you within the stochastic you can see the period five uh theory slurring three and uh, filled low and high simple so we leave it as it is but with the pixels let's increase it a, a little bit let's make it three 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 and then green and then red okay and then make sure the level is 2080 i'll let you know what the level is when you're done you hit on done now you can see why is it giving me different okay so you can see we have uh two indicators here okay now let's say you don't want the indicator you just have to tap hold and tap to delete to hit on the close here to delete one of them okay now we need these two to become very rich you know you can become very rich only if you obey the rules though uh but as time goes on you i said always use the demo okay use the demo to do it and then uh, we'll do one um, trade i'll do one tutorial on the trade then it will issue you guys to start trading at least with real money okay at least 10 cities will be okay now with this here you can see we have the rsi and then the stock the stochastic now another thing we have to show is that let's say you want to change the time frame the time frame is very very important we have when it when i tap the chart okay you see this circle here you can see within the circles we have different different things on it you can see m1 m5 m15 you just have to tap the chart and then it will give you this m30 m h1 so and then the rest okay now every m m represent minutes okay so the first one is m1 is one minute chart one minute and then the f uh, mf m5 is five minutes and then it continues and you see h1 h1 represents one hour and then h h4 also represents four hours and then d1 represents one day and then what w1 represents one week and then mn represents month so it's up to you to decide how to trade okay somebody would like to trade within minutes okay within one minute so it means you have to hit the m1 so that it be on the one minute chart so if, if you look at it well one minute charts uh the, the you can see within the one minute chart the currency pair is falling so let's go on the 15 minutes chart on the 15 minutes chart you can see 
the currency pair is what rising now let's go on the 30 minutes chart on the 30 minutes chart too it means it's showing the currency pair is rising so for this you can see still it is still rising so you have to what buy then you end okay yeah so that is the main idea for the time frame and then please i recommend you use the 15 minutes 30 minutes four hour or one hour time frame okay yeah because within the one minute time frame it is very fast like it goes up and down very quick so if you don't take care you blow your account and then you'll be in trouble crying you know yeah so you have to be careful you see it's not steady if you look at the one minute chart it is not steady at all but if you look at the 15 minutes chart you know at least it's steady you can see if it is falling it's falling if it's rising it's rising okay so that is it that's one special thing about it okay so now that is how we go about it so i will recommend you use the 15 minutes the 30 minutes and then the one hour four hour if you have a lot of money people who have a lot of money sometimes trade on there one day they have a, a huge amount of capital so they can instead let's say uh hundred dollars okay and then they will say okay so with a hundred dollars they are able to analyze the chart very well and they say okay it's going to what rise so within the day one you can see one hour sorry one day the person traded every one single candlestick okay represent one day okay and the person is able to uh, um, analyze the trade and realize the trade is going to fall from this direction you see from here to here will be millions of you know dollars for you just imagine million even from here to here you were able to analyze the trade and realize it's going to fall that means you're a billionaire you're a millionaire let me say that way i'm not exaggerating though but there's a huge amount of money from this pip okay from this level to that level okay so that is it so but i recommend you use 15 minutes then you go 30 minutes to confirm okay then you come back to your 15 minutes then you can close your trade okay if you see that is what you want then you close so um now that is how the interfaces goes like in the next video i'm going to show you how to actually uh so how to actually you know buy and then sell please how to actually what buy and sell i've now showed you uh, the basic interface of the uh the chat okay and how to add your basic indicators how to buy add your basic indicators now if you want to buy and sell there's this plus um sorry are there far right after this one the next one okay if you count one two three four and the last one which i've faded here because i don't have data it's not showing a uh, paper with a plus symbol when you tap on it you see sell and buy that is where you buy or sell okay then you can close your trade from there you can come here and you see you can when you when you come to this side you can just pull okay you pull you tap this one then you can pull here you see close trade here you close the trade from there or you can go there directly there then you close your trade from there so that is some wonderful ways of doing the thing and then as i said the next video i'm going to show you guys how to actually you know use this stochastic and then rsi to actually trade don't rush take your time i'm going to show you anything that you need to know and then actually uh, you can also draw lines and shapes okay when you're doing analysis by by tapping you see some circle and triangle here you tap on it you can choose any of the distance uh, let me choose the uh, this any of them and i can draw you see i can draw you c this is a downward strength sometimes when you're doing analysis you have to you know do some analysis to see to see your downward strength and then your upward strength and everything like that so okay you can draw several shapes arrows indicating whatever so you can see here so uh, there are a lot of things involved with this so thank you very much for your time and everything as i said God bless you um the next video i'm going to we are going to at least use the demo account to trade and then know how to use the stochastic we're going to learn how to use the stochastic and then the rsi both okay the two of them because they are very important thank you for your time and everything